Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Utrock tablet as I have four and a half thousand kilometers experience with it and I wanted to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of the device. There are not many but there are a few things you need to consider before you put this on the bike and how you are going to use it. So first of all, if you are using an iPhone and you want to connect with the hotspot, it does not really work because the iPhone, even in compatibility mode, sends out the 5G networks and the Utrock is only compatible with a 4 GHz network. So I tried it with an Android, it immediately works, but with an iPhone I believe the iPhone 12 and higher it just doesn't work with the hotspot. In my trip through Austria and that was around 4000 kilometers I did not really need internet but you have to make sure you are well prepared downloaded all the maps and that kind of stuff. You can have Wi-Fi that works immediately straight away. So if you're using the iPhone I have the iPhone 15 and the hotspot it just doesn't work. Android straight away. So and another issue is if you turn on the bike I have to turn the tablet off. If you turn on the bike it will automatically turn on so that's good because uh, I have connected it to the accessory plug as shown in my previous video and now if I turn it off what happens is the it does not seems to remind the settings I'm not sure if it's the DMD firmware or the tablet itself but it changed from dark mode to the light mode it's quite annoying the main issue is what I want to show if I turn it on and I turn the bike on and I turn it off the tablet shuts itself down nice I have an MTC failure I have some issues with the bike as well tablet shut itself completely down so now I need to turn it completely on again and that's what happens when it's connected to this cable if you use the side cable it's not happening but if you use this one it will get a signal and shuts itself completely down and that is quite annoying if you have a tank stop a quick stop for lunch or something like that so now the test with a different kind of gloves summer waterproof some are leather waterproof and some are little protection but very nice to use. With this glove I noticed it does not it does work but you need to do your best. but the point of your finger does not work I need to use this part of my finger and then the other summer glove which is not as thick as the other one but also waterproof That works better already. So if you have thick leather 
waterproof gloves it does not work as good as thinner gloves and with these summer gloves there is no issue at all I ride with these most of the times so everything works, works as expected no issue, no delay uh, I had a couple of times the tablet did not react to anything at all uh, I'm not sure it has to do with the heat we had it 30 degrees in Austria during my trip and as you can see in this uh, video I had a beautiful scenery and it just doesn't work anymore you can see the screen it's displaying still the image but the issue is it does not move anymore it does not react to anything the buttons on the side it doesn't do anything so what I had to do is uh, push and hold the button to turn it off for a, yeah maybe 10-15 seconds to do a hard reset I had this two times somewhere in the middle and somewhere at the end of my holiday um, I'm not sure why it happened it, it was very hot but it's a rock tablet so it should handle that kind of conditions and I had this small issue where uh, in the following footage you can see it the GPS signal so maybe it's the DMD firmware or it's the tablet I'm not really sure you can see it kind of skipping it's in like a two second delay in maybe one second delay in the GPS it, it was quite annoying because I had to take a turn and I could not see if I was there already because the there was a bit of a delay so and else what I did I'm very happy with this mount it's it's very solid it does not go anywhere um, my friends Rick and JB Motore do have a 3d printed adapter available for this as you can see I have the plate mounted very low so the the rest comes a bit higher so if I use it 3d printed this one is not going to be placed here but more like here and that will result in the tablet coming in front of my screen so I use this and this is all included in the package so what I'm going to do I already painted with what I need to get rid of but I need to have proper tools for that to make it more pretty so what else I need to talk about um, the tablet is just very amazing it's not very heavy it sure it is more heavy than a little Garmin Sumo which I used before but it's very solid it just works amazing the mounting works amazing it's waterproof I am not using the external uh, antenna and I went to the mountains in Austria I did the cross lock knocker pass which I can show you here What's truly amazing it was 2500 meters high maybe even higher um, I did not have any issue with the GPS over there we went down we went in the forest so no GPS issues at all I think the issues that I had with the GPS which I spoke about earlier are more related to the DMD firmware if you go to that forum there are quite a few issues with the GPS fix and all that kind of stuff so I think that's not related to the tablet but it's worth to mention um, the battery lasts for ages I used it off-road as well at the local enduro track
it just doesn't go anywhere, it's just amazing, it's very solid, I do not have a vibrating damper at the back and still no issues. So the MTC failure you just saw, uh, it has to do something with the battery, I use the bike very often so I do not even have a charger for the battery because I'm always riding it and then it charges. but when I quick google the MTC failure it does have to do something with the battery and I hope that's the case because I'm at 60,000 somewhat kilometers so the camshafts were probably gone already uh, yeah I'm quite nervous for that one hope it starts now uh, back to the tablet I had an issue with it's th what that one is definitely related to the DMD firmware but I was in Germany and everything was white and I only had my route because I had not downloaded the Germany map properly so I was missing the middle part of Germany I had the north I had the south but I went from the Netherlands to the middle of Germany and I was completely blind so and the other fun thing was with the tablet I had some issues in, during my holiday with my helmet so we had to take a detour to Czechia and we were completely off the route so we were riding on the highway and I told my friend I had communication with the one but with another one I had no communication at all so I was driving next to him and I said well look at my tablet because it's so huge so while driving he was riding a little bit behind me and I could lean a bit to the side and I could tell him we are currently riding here and here is the route and you can see it's all red and very clear to see and even on the highway and the tablet is so big he could see that we were very off the route so he told me go ahead go to the right go in front very nice to have thing it saved us a couple of times because it works so perfectly and very fast and if you are off the route you have such a big screen you can see if I go left right left right then we are on the route again I'm not really sure if I covered this already but the battery it's 73% um, if you have it in standby mode it does not use a battery at all you can let it lay down for ages and the battery stays exactly the same and while using it you can well you can use it a whole day even in the heat in the cold it doesn't matter why well, I'm not used it in the cold 10 degrees maybe on the mountains in Austria but you can use it in very hot conditions without the cable plugged in and it will easily last a day the battery is amazing and even on 100% guys <laughs> it's so bright the tablet um, I was a bit skeptical about the tablet in general but now I'm com completely I'm over this it's the best thing ever when I have the tablet in the brightest option and I ride into an tunnel um, I can't see anything anymore it's, it's so incredible bright so I have reconfigured these buttons if I directly hold it it will change the brightness to a bit lower if I tap it and then hold it it will zoom out if you want to see how I installed the tablet on the KTM 890 um, there is a video on our channel if you want to see the installation of the tablet installed on the T7 World Trade of Rick it's also on our channel so you can see that one as well and here is some footage of the Enduro track of last maybe two weeks ago where you can see the tablet is very solid it does not shake it doesn't do anything and it's, it's a very good product <laughs> I'm very happy with it, absolutely.
Right guys, that's it. Uh, the advantages, disadvantages, pros, cons, just how you want to name it. Um, if you want this tablet, you can buy it uh, at my friend JB Motoren. I'll put a link in the description. He is a reseller of these tabs in the Netherlands and he does have a couple of them laying in his garage so the shipping will be very fast I'm happy with the tablet I was a bit skeptical but it works perfectly the DMD software does have some issues the desert colors is a perfect match with the rest of the bike I have the, even a desert back desert everything if my suit it matches the rest so guys uh, see you in the next video Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, give a like, do something to let my video be more shown to the rest of YouTube. Bye.